morning little birdie. Looks like a, a butcher bird, but like I'm saying, not that colour before. No, that's not. Play. Little butcher bird. Once the forestry loggers have been through an area, they send the bulldozer through and windrow all the leftovers and then burn the windrows which helps germinate the native seed so in 40 years time you end up with something like this Beautiful countryside around Colebrook. All the rolling hills and pasture. A bit more countryside on the other side of the road. in the distance with well, a farmland around Glenora on my way to Strathgordon they grow a lot of hops around in this region it's going to do the Tall tree walk in Mount Field National Park, Tasmania. It's quite tall that one. Taking a left turn, I'm heading to Lady Baron Falls. Big trees out this way too. That's a 600 mil bottle of water there. Give you some idea how big these trees are. It just goes up forever, like a beanstalk. Been broken off at the top and started regrowing, so it must have been twice as tall as what it is. These ferns are unbelievable. Some are twice as big as me. Crikey, mate. Some of these ferns would have to be 20 foot tall. Must have been here a long time. Must be getting close to these falls now. A couple more steps and I should be there, I reckon. Lady Baron Falls. Pretty loud. Not even hear me above that. Just a little stream just below Lady Baron Falls. to tell but I'm standing inside one of these logs. I'm There's a log I was standing in. Down this way through the scrub is Russell Falls. Let's measure one of those trees about 63 metres high. This is Horseshoe Falls. Also in the Mount Field National Park.
Creek meanders down through here to the top of the Russian Falls. I'm hoping there's a viewing platform for Russell Falls down here. A lot of stairs, it says visitors and they're a bit vague on their signposting around here. So, pretty sure I'm going to have to walk back all up these stairs and there might be nothing there. This is Russell Falls. Russell Falls. This little specimen here is around about 105 metres tall. Amazing. Must be 15 odd foot along the base. Something else to see this tree come tumbling down. Didn't know about it, I reckon. Finally made it to where I was heading in the first place. The tall tree walk. A lot of tall trees through here. Crikey Moses. It's got to be old growth forest, this stuff. Looks like somebody's having a barbecue over there. The other side of Mount Field. Just to the east of Florentine. Pulled down a track looking for a camp spot, as you do. I've come across this old airstrip. Must be the only reasonable bit of flat ground around here. Right next to it is a dam. Out yonder there is Mount Mueller. 1240 odd metres high. When you're out in the bush you gotta make do with what you got good old muddy dam water just to shut the pressure up the time. Makeshift clothesline. I think we're supposed to get showers tomorrow. Look like storm clouds out there. Now for the rinse cycle. And whatever you do, it's all right to get water from water courses, but don't get the water back in there or use detergents anywhere near the water. The contaminates, get the fish or whatever's in the water. And the ringing cycle. And you're just about all done. Sounds like the black cockies are settling in for the night over there. Can't see them. Not happy, they're moving off. Gumboat sitting around a campfire listening to a mopoke. 